there should be a tote that's got a camping stove and gas. There's also some camping lights that I have up there. Even though Danielle is a little hesitant to go camping, it's gonna be so much fun for the kids. They love being outside, they love exploring, they love playing in the dirt. Riley, can you bring this out into the driveway? Parker, you're literally pushing me down. Got it? Yes. <laughs> I had to buy a brand new tent just to accommodate me and all the girls because the one we had was just way too small and... And I reserved me a glamping tent with a bed, like a real bed, an AC. And, and a place to charge your cell phone probably. Yeah, that'd be glamping. You wanna try to it's set up this bottom. tent? I really want Danielle to have a good time, especially since date night. It's tough, I mean, you do have seasons where as husband and wife, you can acknowledge it and say, no, you know, we need to get back to the basics. So I just, I really want this just to be a fun family experience. Where do we use the bathroom? Um, I got a bucket somewhere, hold on. Ew. We can just bring this Halloween bucket with Ew, us. no! That's way too tiny. Why? Your poops ain't that big, Parker. <laughs> yeah, <still now>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I'm not yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Hazel Basil. Hey, what all do we need to pack to get ready for camping? Do you remember? Yes. What do we need? Water. We need water, okay. Beef jerky. Beef jerky. I kind of need all the help I can get because I feel like I'm not going to get a lot of help from Mommy. She's not really on board for this. Are Mom's going to go grandpa. Are y'all going to rough it in Daddy's tent? No. Why? So we decided we're going to divide and conquer, and Adam is going to take the quints on Friday to go visit Nana and Papa, and they're also going to come camping with us in their RV. We don't Astronaut like... Astronaut coming through. And meanwhile, Danielle is gonna take Blake to the dance and then drive in early Saturday morning and meet us at the campsite. If we make it. <laughs> Daddy said we need sleeping bags, so I got them. We need to fold them up. This is how I fold them. Don't drop that, it's all gonna come undone. Bo, you are gonna go camping? Or are you gonna glamp with mama? We need to bring their bed. This is when I get overwhelmed. When Adam gets everybody wound up and then does nothing. I, I, I have a lot to do. I know that. This is, I didn't plan this trip. Everything you need for camping, I have zero idea. And I know, I was gonna take care of all the camping stuff. I just came up here to get the sleeping bags. Okay. I mean, whenever you think of camping and all the stuff that comes along with camping and prepping for that for, you know, a family of eight, you know, and just- Are you talking yourself out of this right now? Because it sounds like it. Everybody needs another pair of PJs and go and get your sweatsuit out of Riley's closet. It's way up. I can grab it for you. Bobo, what do we need for you? Hmm? Why did I climb up here? Now I'm stuck. Olivia, right there. Why? Where? Right there. Where right there? This? I won't be stuck. I can easily get down that thing and I do not even want to fall. Daddy, I want to try one of those fishing Let's not play in the fishing lures. That's the last thing I need is one of y'all hooking your finger. Ooh. Start loading all this what, out. What, what is all this? Mama, you might need Provisions, this. babe. You might I need this. Anymore. Are you going to need that? Am I going to need this? A hundred percent. We're just not made to camp. We? Yeah, and I don't want to do it. This is how we figure out what we're made of, babe. Hazel, are we glampers or campers? Campers. Team camper. Where's all the jackets that y'all brought to school today? I Mine's need- in the car. Right here. Your jacket? Yes. Yeah. Mine's right here, Daddy. Okay, My you need to bring jacket. that. I spent the entire morning while the girls were at school just packing up the van and get together groceries. Uh, I need to get a charger for Ava. The road trip to Lake Charles is two and a half to three hours, just depending on traffic. 
So tonight we're gonna stay at mom and dad's house just so that we can wake up in Lake Charles and spend the entire day in the park. And it just gives Danielle and Blake some extra time to catch up with us. I need to go to the restroom. I need to go to the restroom. For long trips like this, just making sure that they have like devices charged up. Ava, do you know where your iPad is? Go look. Make sure that we have water and snacks. Pistachios. Making sure everybody's got their own is the is the key because then they just start fighting over stuff in the car. Give me it. All right, it's time to go. All right, is everybody buckled up? Uh, I don't know. I'm buckling right now. I'm already buckled. I do not even like long trips because they take forever and they're boring. Daddy, I can't read my iPad. I'm thirsty. Oh my God, Ava. All right, girls, we're finally on the road. Daddy, when are we gonna be there? Zip it. Like, if you're not gonna be on team glamping, you at least can help me decorate. You can put lights up in my tent. The Blake Sands doesn't start till 7 p.m. tonight, so we decided to leave in the morning, but I do want to go ahead and pack everything in the car tonight. That way we're not shoving everything around tomorrow morning. Mom, you don't need a rug. You don't need a fake candle. You know you're going to want to be in my glamping tent. Just watch, and I'm going to say, oh no, you made fun of my cozy spot. I'm going to actually bring a little heater too. Oh, I gotta get my socks. This is not camping. <laughs> this is way too bougie. It's ridiculous. <laughs> What's your expectations of this dance? Nervous? No, it's a dance. Okay. Are y'all gonna dance? Yeah, I do. Can you cover that spot on your forehead? I burnt my forehead with a curling iron and I was curling my hair. It kind of just went on me just a little, little bit and it just burnt me. It better be my skin tone. <laughs> no, it looks better. It doesn't look brown. It wasn't brown in the first place. Yes, bed. it was. It was starting to scab up. No, it's not. Okay, oh. okay, I forgot. You're 11, you know it all. I do know it all. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated with my mom because I want to be able to get ready on time, but she's slowing me down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to help. Mama, that looks horrible. It looks like orange. No, it doesn't. It does. When you're up close to me, yes. Oh my gosh, Blake Louise. That little sassy attitude definitely comes out when there's more of like a stress environment. Oh, I can't wait till the quince are that age. Sometimes it's like, hold on, don't talk to me like that. It's just, yes, ma'am, you know? I don't know, I'm like in that phase now where I'm like, oh gosh, what's gonna happen later? Is this gonna get worse? Like, oh, what am I gonna do? How does Adam tune that out? <laughs> all the girls are getting pretty and all the boys are just wearing that they go to school. <laughs> Difference between girls and boys. Blake has not been yet into talking about boys, but I have felt like, Sixth grade started, that's when I felt like that, oh my God, that boy's cute. But I think I would probably have a hard time with her dating. And so hopefully that's in like in another five years. All right, let's go take lots of pictures. It's all your friends, let's go. Let's go. Let's rock and roll.